13 for final round. You know who this is. Whoa. This is one of we our best. regulars. <laughs> By the way, of all the reels that we post out, with all the content, by even including Roy Jones Jr., you're still the highest viewed reel that we've got. Really? It stands at 152,000 views. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. She <laughs> holds the record. Roy Jones is number two. Wow. You know okay, what I mean? cool. So, I'm happy to hear that. So we're, we're always happy when we say share because she always shares for us. Got to, got to be support. You guys come and support us, we got to support you. See that? I like that. She understands that it's all about unity, not about division, but uniting and getting alongside each other. Listen, let's start with your last fight first. We've talked about this many times off camera. We want <laughs> you, we want you guys to understand what we talk about off camera. How good was that last fight? Amazing. Uh, again, I'm a messenger after anyway, but the girl looked. She looked like she's a big girl. Yeah, she yeah. looked a lot, a lot bigger. Strength-wise, I'm not sure. But yeah, yeah, she looked yeah. a lot bigger than you. you know what I mean? uh, yeah, she did. But physically, but, she looked a lot yeah, bigger and stronger yeah. than me. Yeah, but she did. But boxing ability, you were head and shoulders above. Yeah, yeah. Talk, talk to how it went. Do you know what it was? It was. Um, I loved having the fire in my belly. You know, someone coming to knock me out. I knew she had five fights. She knocked down four of her opponents, and it's rare to hear of that. You know, like she knocked down four of the five. She was unbeaten. I knew she was coming to knock me out, and uh, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that feeling. I soaked it up, and I wanted to prove people wrong because I know I, I, I believe a few people were starting me for that fight. So it was nice to get in there and prove people wrong. So I know there was a bit of back and forth with uh, Shannon Corney, right? Yeah. But correct me if I'm wrong. That girl you beat beat the girl she beat, right? Yes. Is that correct? Yeah, she beat the girl that she beat, but not only did she do that, she knocked the girl down three three times in that fight. So for me, it's just like, with that, I just think she was just disrespectful the way she came around it. Like, look, she's lost her fight. She's thinking, how can I get back in the mix? First of all, calling me out is the wrong way to do that because, oh, I know my boxing ability, you know. I, I know how far I can go in this sport. I'll, I'll fight her tomorrow. So calling me out is the wrong move, trust me. Like, she doesn't want that fight. You know what I love about her? I was in London all that week, and they're going to be truthful on camera here. I never, never, never go to the Wayne's. <laughs> Went to London for a week. We never go near the Wayne's. Just think, the next fighters, I don't really want to bug them when they're getting off the scale. I'd rather just, because you get most attached to people as well. Yeah. Just want them to get off the scale, not have to listen to any questions, go rehydrate and talk to you after the fight. But I actually regretted going to that, 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 that uh, waiting because she got tasty that way. Didn't yeah. she? Yeah. Yeah. Got yeah. 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 yeah, she did. Headlines yeah. everywhere over that one there. Yeah. Honestly, the video on Instagram got about 9 million views of me and, me and her facing off. So yeah. wow. it was it was good. But as I said, I like that fire. I like that little, like, you know, of someone coming to beat me, someone coming to grudge match. You know, I do like that. It turned that for her to do that was the worst thing she could have done because it, it brings out the best in me. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I'm saying with like being called out and people disrespecting me. Like, it's the worst thing you can do with me because I'll go in there and I'll prove exactly what I can do. And it, it gives if it's a mean streak in me when I'm in there and so it, if anything it benefits me when people do that to Definitely. be honest. What, what, when's your birthday? What month is it in? October. It was actually was the day after my fight. Was it? Yeah. Oh that's right. Yeah. The, reason, the reason I asked you is because I'm a Gemini. Okay. And there's always there's two sides to a, a Gemini person. Like people see this niceness like how she was carrying on but there's that other side of it when you prod and push it. Is that fire? Oh, oh I didn't know you had that in you. Oh, you yeah. what I mean? That's, that's the, that's the the worst thing you can do with me, you know. Um, obviously, I'm, you know, polite to everyone. You know, I'm respectful to my opponents. That's how it should be. We should respect each other. Obviously, until you get in there, you've got to lose that. But I believe we're we're all getting in there to do the same thing. We're all getting in there to, you know, help our families or do whatever. So if I didn't have respect, like, I just I don't like that at all. And that's why I didn't like the way Shannon called me out. She was trying to disrespect me, um, saying. I'm fighting nobodies and things like that and I just thought don't put me down just because you've just lost your last fight you know I would never do that personally to another fighter I was actually asked about her fight after she lost and I said look I'm not going to comment on that you know like she just lost leave it at that because who am I to comment when a fighter loses it's not you know so um, it's, 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 it's the wrong thing to kick someone while they're down anyway isn't it of course 
course, yeah. So I would never do that, and I, I wouldn't have said anything on the matter. Yeah. But she came for me and gave it to me about... And it was just delusional what she was saying, to be honest with you. Right. But, um, yeah, so I just think it was bitter and it was uh, just after, disrespectful. After you've said something about it, is anything else more being said? No. Because the reason I say it is because we talked to Shannon, all right, and she's on, on the journey herself to deal with depression. Like, you know, some people in the heat in the moment can speak out of emotion. Yeah. The reason I asked her, she said, oh, it's since, because if you have an EQ and emotional intelligence about you, you think back to mm, so maybe shouldn't have said up. Yeah. And live regret. So you watch situations like that. If the if it continues like we saw with McKenna today, then you know it's personal. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Look. But, but ultimately to be a fighter, you have to have that other side of the personality that says, okay. That's where you want to go. That that's it for me, you know. As I said, I you know, before that I wouldn't have done I wouldn't have said anything like I'm, I I respect fighters, I respect how we get in there, I respect anyone who gets in the ring because you know, we're all in there to do the same thing, we're all like it's a dangerous sport, you know. I respect anyone who gets in the ring, but I just thought the way she came on and disrespected me, like trying to publicly say this and that. I just thought it was her trying to get her foot back in the door and I feel like I'm the wrong person to be doing that with. I really am. So, so out of interest then, obviously she lost the fight and stuff, but is there a possibility of that fight down the line, you think? Of course. Look, it's a domestic fight, isn't it? You know, it's, it, sells, it, could, sells well, it? Oh, it sells well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sells well and it's a domestic fight, but I think she needs to go and win a fight and it'll build that fight ten times more. Yeah, so of course. she can go win a fight and then let's get it on for like a British title or something. That's what I'm thinking, but wherever it gets made or not, I don't know, but I'm up for it. I'm really am up for it. Ultimately, you just want the belt. You want more belts. You don't care who's got the belts. Yeah. You just want more belts. Right? To be honest, I just want to fight. Yeah. I just want to fight and yeah. I'm in there to fight. I don't really care about any of this back and forth because I know when I get in there, I'll prove a point and yeah. I'll deliver. But if someone's coming, coming to disrespect me and talk on my name, I'm not going to sit there and sit in the corner and not retaliate. I'm going to say it how it is and say my thought on it. And that, that's it at the end of the day, to be honest. My wife's like you. <laughs> <laughs> my wife's a sack, sack, same as you. Said. People think yeah. she's innocent. This, that, I said one time, this guy was being rude to me and I'm just like trying to defuse the situation. She was straight in front of me. Not talk to my husband Don't like that. Da, 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 da. She, was, she was on it, boy. So I literally <laughs> stepped back. That's literally, that. you yeah. you can't be a pushover. Like, yeah. And especially with me, I think where I'm young, I'm 20, yeah. these fighters do think they can just, they think they can say things to me and I'm not going to say anything back. Like, wow. I don't think I was disrespectful at all in my interview firing back at her. I just spoke facts and yeah, said it how it was. You just straight to the point, weren't you? Yeah, that's exactly it because I'm not disrespectful, but I, yeah, I just, I, I'm annoyed. Like, I don't like the way she went around it, but mm. hopefully if we fight, I can prove it that way. Yeah. 20. Uh, she speaks well for 20, didn't she? She's quite, she's mature for 20, man. I, I, I didn't even have to string a sentence together like that when I was 20. Oh, Honest to God. Been around the game a bit too long <laughs> with my dad. Yeah, you've learned from some of the best That's people it. in the game. I've been watching, watching. Yeah. Been, been watching. Say that, we need to get on the camera, don't we? Yeah, oh, yeah, we man. do. Have you, ever do. Seen, you ever seen the picture where she's with Savannah and she's a teenager? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peter yeah, Fury. Yeah, yeah. 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 She's had Peter I've Fury in her life as well. Yeah, yeah. Listening to Peter Fury is a good a good communicator. I've had some well. great influences yeah. around me yeah. in my life, definitely. Um, uh, Peter, my dad, Savannah, all Peter's a great so storyteller. He's, he's a great man, such a great man. I took him about, what was it, two months ago? More than that, four, four, three, four, months? Three, three, four months ago. He was going through a situation in his life where he was going through a stepping stone, didn't have a training, didn't know what to do, start you So I set a meeting up with him and Peter. We went across, must have been talking four hours, it didn't seem like four hours ago, did it? A little time four times it it didn't seem like it, it, it felt like about half an hour though yeah that's what I love about Peter I've only got an hour for you is that alright still there at Land Recovery night still <laughs> speaking yeah. but everything that he was saying is gold when, when Peter Fury talks you listen that's the way oh, I yeah, it. you know he's, he's a great guy you know he's like family to me and yeah. uh, he's just a great man he's just a great great man he came down as well didn't he yeah he came down he came in watch your fight and he was out yeah he came in all suited and booted and then just bounced off I was in the car because we 
we would, we did a podcast we were Boatsy. Yeah. And we got stuck in traffic. I'm like, man, like that. And we were watching your fight in the car. I went to my phone because we weren't in the arena. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's why we got. I had to text you to get you know to get into the change room yeah. interview. And I said to Peter, wait for me. He goes, I'm off. For, I'm off to airport now, John. Yeah. I'm out. He was, he was out. He was gone. Yeah, you know he, what I mean? he bounced. He's, he's a cool guy. Yeah, he just came in suit and booted and then bounced after. I'm I love Peter Fury. Big shout out to Peter Fury. Big shout out to Peter <laughs> When would you like to be back out? It's not for my benefit, but for their benefit, because they'll want to know. February, March, I'll be back out. Yeah. For sure. Is it going to sure. be one of the shit? There's the, there's the one in uh, February in London. Yeah. Same venue, actually. It, potentially, it could be. That would be nice. Potentially, it could be March. So yeah. I'm just waiting to hear now. I'm waiting to hear what type of fight I'm in, but I believe it'll be whatever it is. I believe it's going to be a title fight. So. I'm ready for it. You know, I'm always in the gym. I'm always working, always improving, always trying to learn. And uh, hopefully, yeah, we can get out February, March time. She loves the game. <laughs> you got to love the game. You can tell. You have to love the game. You got to see that little, what do you call it, about box? Yeah. That little shine in her eyes, do yeah. yeah. That little twinkle. That little twinkle, yeah, little twinkle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, she she definitely got that twinkle. Like like. <laughs> uh, next season, when we launch season five, because we've closed season four now, you're going to be on the podcast. 100%. Johnny Nelson joining the team on the podcast side of things. We're going to have a great podcast where we don't have to rush things. We can sit down, we can take it to a bit more depth, get deep, get a bit deeper. Everyone, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that button.